Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. Oh, hey there. Guessing by the title, we're all here for one thing, so let's not waste any more time and begin. Not so fast, you lazy, insolent YouTuber. Shredder. Not just any Shredder. I am the true leader of the Foot Clan, badly dubbed Businessman Shredder. Okay? Anyway, what are you doing here? I came here to watch a review, yet here I find you shortchanging your audience. Look, I tried. I tried watching this movie, it just didn't give me enough to work with. I mean, what can I say about it? With kaiju films, it's like professional wrestling, especially when this era, you either like it or you don't, but there's not much I can really say about it. Not enough to generate a full review. I will not let you proceed until you deliver on what you promised. All right. You want a review? Here's your review. <clears throat> Much like many other kaiju films from the time period, King Kong vs. Godzilla is very light on plot, heavy on action. In the case of the version that I watched, which was the US re-edit, a lot of the action is cut short and truncated, all for the sake of adding this weird, running, overarching plot involving some weird... UN-sponsored news agency that honestly just causes the whole film to grind to a halt. I know a lot of people like this film. You're not really watching these films for the story. You're watching it for the action. But even then, the action scenes just aren't that fun to look at. If you're a fan of kaiju films, particularly kaiju films from the 80s and 90s, this is right up your alley. It pretty much delivers exactly what it promises. But if you're looking for something more, you're not going to find it here. So that's my full rundown of King Kong vs. Godzilla. Satisfied? This haphazard excuse of a review will suffice. For now. Alright, with that distraction out of the way, let's see what's inside this thing. Alright, hello there internet, it's time for another Loot Crate unboxing with Romney. Let's not waste any more time, you know the drill. Loot Crate approached me, wanted me to open up a crate, and so, here we are again, this time with the March Primal Crate. So, let's see what's inside. This time I know how to actually open it. Come on, you piece of... There we go. Alright, so let's see what we've got in here. So, we've got a bit of a dinosaur motif going. Alright, now let's take a look at the individual items. So first up, the thing that immediately catches my eye is this little die-cast figurine of Old Man Logan. Now, I'm sure some of you have seen my review of Logan. I absolutely enjoyed it. So this is actually kind of a nice thing to get. It's a nice little pissed-off Wolverine that's like a metal die-cast figure. Quite appropriate, given the character we've got. So yeah, this is actually pretty cool. I mean, I've mentioned in the past that I'm, a, I'm an X-Men fan, so this is actually pretty cool to get. Let's get a little bit of a nice close-up to show off Logan or James Howlett in his pissed-off glory. As you can see, you've got basically the white hair, you got the adamantium claws. I'm not going to open this just yet because, well, I don't want to risk finding any tiny pieces here. But yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Alright, next up we've got a t-shirt. Let's see. The t-shirt says Primal Rage. It's a gorilla, but I don't think it's King Kong. Nope, this is Overwatch. Unfortunately, I don't know who the character is in Overwatch. I know that he's from Overwatch. I know he's supposed to be a super hyper-intelligent gorilla. I'm probably going to have at my friends who do play Overwatch screaming at me, but... Hey, even with even not knowing it's from Overwatch, this is a pretty cool t-shirt. Primal Rage! Alright, next up, we've got a Predator-themed bottle opener. Now, I don't drink alcohol, so I may not get as much use out of this, but then again, if I'm ever drinking some of those Cokes that they bring in from Mexico, pretty handy. Let's get the nice close-up here on the multicam. Gonna take it out of the bag so you can get a better look at it. It's nice and shiny, I'm not sure what type of metal. But yeah, you've basically got a Predator bottle opener with the head serving as the main piece that helps pry off the bottle cap. Alright, next up we've got the obligatory pin. This time, it 
feels kind of like almost a nod at the Watchmen, almost, because, well, this is the official Primal Pin, which is a smiley face being clawed to death. So, basically imagine if the comedian was killed by some sort of monster instead of by Adrian Beat and being thrown from the building with the drop of blood hitting the medallion, and that is a very obscure reference that only some of you will get, but this actually looks pretty cool. Like, I can see myself wearing something like this, especially if I decide to do kind of a Jurassic Park-themed variant of a, of a costume of the comedian. I better write that down. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. This is funny. He's funny. It's a safety sign. It's a mock-up safety sign from Jurassic World slash Jurassic Park. Although technically Jurassic World, it's the same franchise. Makes me kind of wish I'd took a look at Jurassic Park for this review, but, well, that maybe next time, if there is one. And it even has, like, a full-on, like, thing saying, Please abide by all safety warnings and instructions posted on signs throughout the park. Proper attire, including shoes and shirts, must be worn at all times. We are eager to make your Isla Nubar, Nublar experience as exciting and memorable as possible. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact Guest Relations or speak with any of one of our Isla guides. Now, I don't know if it's pronounced... I, I think in the movie it was pronounced Isla, so... If there are people out there who know Spanish that are basically raging at the screen, take it up with with Universal. And for the close-up, or I guess I can hold it here so it'll show better. Yeah, it's a nice little electric fence warning sign warning you not to touch the electric fences that keep the dinosaurs in their pens until someone, be they motivated by greed or are just a jerk, decide to eat, to basically let them out whether it's through creating a dinosaur that shouldn't exist, or by basically churning off all the power in order to steal embryos. And as always, we have this nice handy little booklet here to explain basically all the swag that we just received. Okay, so it actually says here the name of the gorilla character. It's Winston. Winston is the character's name. So yeah, now that I, I now that I know that the t-shirt is, is of Winston, and it's apparently his, one of his basically a graffiti that you can unlock in the game because you can unlock sprays which are graphics that you can put on various services and well that's the one that Winston can, that can be unlocked for Winston got another secret of the keys secret of the keys puzzle thing here which this looks like some sort of ARG like altered reality like camera thing that I'll have to like hold in front of a camera to trigger I'm sure that there's an actual clue in here, but I'll have to go to the website to figure out what the heck this is. And, okay, oh, this explains what the pin can do. Apparently the pin unlocks two, unlocks two issues of a comic called Savage. I'm just looking here. So, yeah, the comic, it looks like it's a, it's a series from Valiant called Savage. I'll have to check it out, especially now that I actually have a tablet that I can use Comixology on, so... Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, that's pretty much it there. So now let's take a look and build what this can build. Alright, while I was waiting for my camera battery to charge, I managed to get this finished. Although, I may have made a mistake with the mouth here, because I didn't realize it was supposed to fold in and not come apart. But, yeah, you can fold the crate into a little dinosaur, which means my loot bot has a new friend. Or a new enemy. Hmm...
So that was March's Primal Crate. While it's too late to get this crate specifically with the dinosaur here, it is not too late to sign up for the next crate. April's theme is Investigate, and will feature loot from such franchises as Batman, Marvel's Jessica Jones, Netflix's Stranger Things, as well as classic franchises like The X-Files. And if you use the link in the description lootcrate.com slash studio ghost, not only will you save 10% on your first purchase, but you'll also be really, really helping to support my channel and helping to make sure that I can make more entertaining videos for you in the future. And it doesn't even have to be limited specifically to Loot Crate. Loot Crate has many other crates that cater to many different tastes. So if you're a gamer, they have Loot Gaming. If you're an anime fan, they have Loot Anime. If you want just the clothing, they also have crates like Loot Wear as well as more niche crates like the Hello Kitty crate or the WWE Super Slam crate. So many crates to choose from to suit your tastes, you can apply that 10% discount to any one of them. Once again, that link is lootcrate.com slash studio ghost. It's the first line in the description. And on that note, that brings this unboxing video to a close. What did you guys think? Were there things I did better than the previous one? Are there things you like, things that you didn't like that I could do better? Let me know in the comments below. But for now, well, it's getting kind of late and I kind of need to get to sleep. So yeah, thanks for watching. Good night.